time for some more easy, fun dice games for your kids. So stay tuned. This is part two math dice games. If you missed part one, I'll link it up here now, or you can check it out at the end of this video in the description box below. There'll be a link down there. That one was more toward, geared toward preschool to first grade level, and this video is gonna be more first grade to third grade or higher. So it'll have a little bit more of a challenge and some strategy involved. So let's get started. So material for these games, you really are just going to need dice and paper and pen. That's really all you need. I will link down below if you're interested in printing off some of these games, you can, but you also can do them just with a plain piece of paper. You'll need uh, two dice to start with and then some of the games you can move up to four so you might have those handy as your kids progress. All right, this game is Knockout. If you watch part one, it should look familiar. Um, I just wanted to show you with two or more dice. So we did it with one and we had numbers one through six. So for two dice, you'll have numbers two through 12 and it's pretty much played the same way. And then you can even go to three dice as well if you want to do even more of a challenge. So it's just rolling, you'll find the sum, four and four is eight, and you cross that number out. If you're playing with partners, then you would switch and your partner would go. And they would also have their numbers written down, so you'd be crossing out your own set of numbers. Okay, and then if it's back to my turn, it's three and six, so we'll cross out nine, so you will continue going until you knock out all your numbers and the first to knock out all their numbers wins. If you roll a number that you've already crossed out, then you lose that turn if you're playing with a partner. Otherwise, you just keep going. game is called going to Boston so for this game you will roll you can start with two dice you will keep the higher number in this case it's five you will keep the higher number and then that'll be your roll one you'll take the lower number you'll roll that again and then that will be your roll two and then you'll make your math sentence five plus four and you'll find the sum Okay, if you're playing with two players, player two will then take their turn, so they'll roll. Six is higher, I'm gonna keep that, roll that one again, and three. So we've got six plus three yeah. equals nine. Oh, we actually tied that one, so we've got nine and nine. The person that gets the higher, let's say this was a four, the person with the higher sum wins that round. So there's 10 rounds to play. Or if you don't have a partner, then one player can just get a lot of practice. You can also play this game with uh, three dice then, as so they'd be adding three digits together. But same idea, you would roll, keep the highest, roll the other two, keep that highest, and then roll the third, okay? So that's how you would build your math sentence for that. So we've got a six, a four, and a four, and we'd find the sum. Six and four makes 10, and four more, there's 14. So this game is nice. They're having to do a lot of things here. They're having to find the bigger number and then having to roll again and, and add three digits together so there's a lot a little bit more involved you also could move to four dice you would just have 
and you really don't even need this paper you can just record it on any white piece of paper so you would just be if you had four dice let's say then I also had a two so you would just have a bigger math sentence which is kind of neat because then they can work on a little bit more mental math like six and four is ten and then four and two is six so then they've got ten and six is sixteen All right, for this, how many equations? You can start with two dice and you will roll and with those two numbers, you can make as many equations as you can, which we might not get very far since we rolled a double. <laughs> but the idea is to just record as many as we can. Um, your kiddos might pick up on some subtraction. And let's see, let's get something, there we go, different. So we've got six and one equals seven. And then they might notice the turnaround facts. So they could do one and six with the same sum, obviously. And then you can move into three dice. Okay, and same idea with those digits, they will see how many equations they can come up with. So we can do it just as it is here, five and one and two. We could do one and five and two. We could do two and one and five. What have we not done? Five and two and one. Okay, so the idea is just to come up with as many as they can. Um, as they do more like three or four dice, there'll be a lot more possibilities they can do. So some of the older, like second, third graders, they'll start seeing uh, some different ways they can make equations. And if they are into multiplication, which might be more third, fourth grade, um, then they can also be doing multiplication equations as well. This game is called Pig, and you can do just a plain piece of paper, or I've printed out a hundreds chart, so maybe as your kids are younger or just figuring out the game, it might be helpful to have the numbers on here so they don't have to keep track um, any other way. It just visually helps them as they get started. So you will need really just one die for this. The player will roll it three times and the idea is to get as many points as you can, which the number is your points. Um, if you roll a one, you are out. So you lose that turn and you don't get those points. So here's where the little strategy kind of comes in because you're rolling and so I have a three. Do I roll again and risk rolling a one and getting no points or do I just keep the three points? Okay, so we'll start. That was my first roll, we'll say. Okay, and I got another three, so I'm at six and then one more, three. So I happen to get all three rolls. So we've got three, three, and three. So if you're using this hundreds chart, they can just easily fill it in like that and then it kind of keeps track for them. Okay, so then I would go again, four, 
five. Oh, I better not. I'm going to hold what I got there. So four and five is nine. So I'll do one more and then eight. Okay. If I had a partner, then it would be their turn. So let's say I have a partner. I'll move over here and show you if you don't have the number chart and just a plain piece of paper, you could do really any old way they want to do to keep track of their score. Um, tallies is one way. Let's do three and three. Let's stop at six maybe so we can keep track with tally marks. And then we'll say that person went this person again. Ooh, let's be take a risk. Ooh, and we got it. So four and four. Here's four and then four more. And then we had the two. Okay, so they could keep track that way. They could keep track just by writing down their number sentence over here. So each, each turn they got a four and a four and a two. That'd be six. So they could keep track that way for each turn. So that is called pig. Typically it goes to 100. Uh, you could really set any number you want to have be the end point and then whoever gets there faster wins. So this one's great for a little strategy kind of risk taking and um, and again helps just with their mental math and quickness on their math facts. Um, also another great game to, for traveling you really just need dice and a piece of paper and really you only need one so super simple to play on the go that's it for this dice games video if you missed the part one you can go check that out now the link will be down below and i also have a link down there for a subitizing video which is like a flash game and it just helps kids become fast with recognizing different number and dot patterns so that'll help with some of these dice games if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more math, reading, and writing activities for your kids. You can also hit that bell icon down below and you'll be notified when I upload new videos so you never miss out. Hope you have fun playing these dice games. Thanks for watching.